What's up beautiful people? Today we do another little unboxing video of the DJI MIC or MIC wireless microphone kit. So let's open it up. Let's see if we can find a neat way to get this outer plastic removed. Okay. I don't need a knife for this. It's pretty good. Here we go. All right. All right. The next step is to open it up here. I think it is sufficient to pull on this little. Mm. Sweet. And then let's see what's inside the box. All right, there is one package, and there is another one. And I think this box is, yeah, there's nothing more inside. Just a little description about the contents charging case, receiver, transmitter, charging. Carrying pouch, hot shoe adapter, windscreen, oh, there's a lot of stuff in there. Mobile phone, mobile phone, lightning type C, clip magnet, instruction manual, charging cable, audio cable. There's a lot of stuff in there. That's quite nice. So let's have a look what should be open first. I think we will have a look at the this box first. All right, all right. This is the pouch. Yes. Ah, yeah. Okay, so this is a typical DJI bag thingy. And what do we have here? Let's unbox it. Oh, there are two compartments, as you can see here. And the upper compartment, there is the. Ooh, this looks nice. <laughs> I hope no cat had to die for this flushy, plushy things. All right, here is the USB-C cable. Here is an tip ring sleeve TRS audio jack. Just a little cable here. All right, so <coughs> put it here. And then there is even more inside. There is the Francais. English guarantee, warranty, thingy, quick start guide and safety guidelines. Okay, that's all she wrote. Quick start guide, that's good. I can see oh, you need the. You need an. Do you need an app? No, it's just for the QR code for the instructional. Okay, you can how you switch it on here, how to wear it, how to do stuff. Okay, we will figure out later. As far as you know, I'm not quite the manual guy. I just want to try the product because um, little story here when you're recording live or you're in a live situation and uh, the product isn't self-explaining and then you wouldn't get out the manual either so i wouldn't say the product isn't ready for a live situation when it doesn't explain itself so all right and then we open up this little thingy here oh yeah this looks really nice. So the whole case is quite heavy. It's definitely heavier than it looks. And uh, yeah, we will see what's inside. Open up the lid and woo, this looks really, really nice. So do you see it's already starting up and blinking? So when you open up the case it will show you uh, can you do you can you see that yeah it will show you the 
battery status of the transmitters and the receivers here. Oh yeah, and uh, this is, oh, okay, this is, uh, this looks, this is very, that's very light actually. Okay, and DJI has a lot of touchscreen thingies as you can see here, you can, I don't want to, ah, so these are the charging pins right here, as you can see they will go in there. And then there's some little clip. Oh, I think this is for the the camera shoe. Oh, this is the camera shoe. Is this called the camera shoe? Please uh, leave a comment. I'm not quite uh, familiar with the wording of uh, camera equipment. And then we have the transmitters here. Oh, they are so tiny. But they're actually heavier than the receiver unit. And uh, yeah, they have the charging pins here as well. And uh, it looks uh, quite neat. And they have a little indicator that they're on. They have um, USB-C port here, a little on and off button. What is it called? The recording? Okay, you can start the recording here as well. And I can't figure out what this actually seems to be. But as you can see, there's a built-in microphone here and a TRS to bring sleeve thingy here as well. So I could use my Rode SmartLeft Plus. I think I have to use the adapter cable, but uh, I could still use my left mic here. And then you have a lot of, oh, what's that? So that's the magnet. Um, do we have something which is magnetic here, like a screw? Ah, yeah. It's not very strong kind of magnet. Oh, actually, oh, it is. It's a really strong magnet. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So this is the magnet. You can attach it to anything here. And here is a clip, so you can attach it to your cloth as well. All right, um, yeah, you, as you can see, you have two of them, which are hopefully identical. And uh, what's more inside? Ah, oh, yeah, you get the adapters here. You can attach it to your phone, I think, if you use the USB-C or the lightning adapter. And as far as I can see, they would go in here. Is that the right way around? No. No, they're little arrows indicating the way how you should insert them. I hope they will. I don't, I don't, uh, I'm not... Not so happy, but as yeah, as you can see here, it fits very tightly. So this seems to go in here. Yep. Okay. Oh, you have to push very hard, but then it fits here. Okay, so you could plug this into your iPhone or you could use the USB-C and put it into the Android phone. Or, um, yeah, perhaps later Apple will put USB-C connectors in their phones as well. All right, and then you have the possibility, I uh, yeah, didn't show you that, there is an output here. So this, I think this is, uh, uh, you can attach this cable, so you can plug it into a camera mic input. Yep, if you have a DSLR or mirrorless cam with an audio jack, you can use this and you can attach an additional headphone. So this can become a quite professional rig if you have a cameraman and uh, he can control uh, the sound. He can check the sound if the sound is uh, right with the headphone. This is quite nice as well. <coughs> so, 
All right. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I don't do the setup now. I'll just put it back into the case. Will it come back out? Oh, yep. No, it's very tight. But oh, the build quality is up to the task. You could use this here as well. Yep, and you could use this as well to put it on the camera. I think I showed you already showed you that. It goes nicely in here and yeah well so what's about the charging case? Is there any yeah here's a USB C connector as well so you can charge the whole case. I think it's like the uh, AirPod or yeah in ear Bluetooth uh, f headphones uh, where you have a battery in the case as well. Yeah, and so there is a charging indicator. I think it's for the battery in the case. And then you have, uh, yeah, this indicator here for the charging, the uh, change of, uh, st state of charge for all three devices in here. So this looks really, really nice and uh, yeah, the fingerprints stay on here. As you can see, if you touch it, we'll get a bit. But I don't mind. It's a tool. It's not about looks. But um, yeah, actually, it, um, it it's quite balanced. So if you put it on the surface, it wouldn't flip over. And if you open the ah. But you can do it with one hand. Can you do it? Can you remove it with one hand as well? Yeah, that's quite nice. If you have the camera in one hand, for example, and you can operate it with one hand only, that can definitely work here. Ah, one thing perhaps if you attach the connector, I use the iPhone connector because that's my main use case at the moment. And you insert it here, hopefully. And I think this is where great testing comes in place. You can just insert it with the adapter attached and it fits in the case so you don't have to go through the hustle uh, to the, what's it called? Hassle <laughs> to um, reattach it every time you use it. So just leave it here in place, right? And then you just drop it in the case and it stays neatly in place here. That's quite nice. So that's all for this little unboxing. Stay tuned. <laughs>